morning and welcome to another edition of Mark's Inspiration. 1,666 subscribers. Thank you. You're awesome. You're incredible. And we got to get over that 666, right? <laughs> the number of the beast. It's just a number. Don't worry about it. But thank you very much for, for being here. And let's all walk the path of enlightenment together. And what is enlightenment? Enlightenment is more than just some spiritual, mystical experience. It's recognizing the reality we live in today, but visualizing the reality you want to live in tomorrow. You can create your own reality. Things change on the outside when you change on the inside, but that's not our topic for today. Hit that like button, subscribe, follow me on Rumble at Mark's Inspiration, and let's go. Today's topic is this. I got a Bible verse today. As you guys know, I'm not a religious person. But I was thinking about how women want to be treated and how men want to be treated. How women want to be loved by men. Let's see what the Bible says about this. <clears throat> In the same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. Husbands ought to love their wives as they do their own bodies. Now, what if I told you that I told my wife that she was fat and she needed to go to the gym to work out? Oh, my God. What do they call that? Fat shaming? Is that an act of love if I say that to her? Most people would think not. But is it an act of self-love if I look in the mirror and say, Mark, you're fat. You need to lose some weight. I think it is. If I love myself, do I discipline myself to go to the gym, to work out, to take care of my health? Yes, because I love myself enough to look at myself in the mirror and tell myself the truth. I can also look at myself and say, you know what, Mark, you're a sarcastic SOB. If I am, sometimes I am. Sometimes I do it for fun with my buddies. You guys know how that is. It doesn't work too well if you do it with your significant other. Women don't take that as well as men do. But men, sometimes we have a way of joking around that it's fun for us. But men and women think differently. But there again, if I'm going to love my wife or my girlfriend as I love myself, and I discipline myself, do I discipline my wife or my girlfriend? That's what it says there. In the same way husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. I need to discipline my body, my mind, my emotions, my spirit. Now I'm not talking about cutting people down, but is it cutting myself down if I look in the mirror and say, Mark, you're quite the sarcastic person. We'll say it that way. Or am I recognizing a character defect in myself? And the first step to changing that is admitting and getting out of denial. So if I love my wife or my girlfriend and she's sarcastic is it unloving for me to call her out on it if i'm supposed to love her as i do my own body my own self i think not but in today's offended easily society if you say anything to a woman that's not nice even though they hate nice guys they despise nice guys they love chads they hate nice guys now, I know many women will argue with me on that, but I've seen it time and time again, and I've experienced it time and time again. Nice guys put women on a pedestal. They seek their approval. Even coming, even, I never was what you'd call a nice guy. I never sought women's approval. Maybe when I was in school, but I sometimes have a tendency to be too good when a woman treats me really good. Now, most women will argue with that and say, no, oh, no, that's not true, but it happens. They lose respect for you when you treat them better than they treat you. Nine times out of 10, and I've been with a lot of women, had a lot of long-term relationships, and had them come back after I walked away from them because of the disrespect, saying, Mark, you just treat us too good, too well, I guess it's proper English. You treat us too well. So the point I'm making here is this. Loving your girlfriend, your wife, your significant other is not always being a nice guy. Now, I'm not saying to be a jerk, 
but treat a woman the way she wants to be treated. And she doesn't want you to be a nice guy and treat her like a nice guy would. There's thousands of nice guys out there that would just beg to have a chance to go out with her. But she's with you. And she's not with you because you're a nice guy, unless she's just using you and taking advantage of you. And that's something that is very common these days also. But that's not the situation you're in if you're watching me. And if you're moving in that direction, you may need to move out of it. But loving someone else as you love yourself is not always telling them what they want to hear or being Pollyanna and just praising them all the time. Sometimes, more often than not, it's telling them the cold, hard truth about something they can't see in themselves. I've had mentors all my life. And you know what? Those guys love me enough to tell me what I needed to hear, not what I wanted to hear. Our society has become so soft, we don't even let people put the thumbs down on YouTube videos anymore. We might hurt someone's feelings. Everybody's a winner in school. The competition, they're eliminating it. I was at the boxing matches the other night and the kids under 10, all the fights were a draw. It's good to lose, it's good to fail. The road to success is paved with failure. It also builds up your inner man to be a little disappointed once in a while. It makes you wanna go and try harder to make more of yourself, to expand. So we need people, especially our significant others. It's the same way with a man. If your wife sees you falling down and you can't see it, she needs to call you out on it in a respectful manner. If she sees you're gaining weight, just a minute. I'm doing a video. If she sees you're gaining weight, she needs to say something to you about it if you don't notice it yourself. Is that the man she married? No, it's not. Why are you allowing yourself to get out of shape? She wants to be with the man that she fell in love with. And many of you guys, that's what happens. All of a sudden your wife starts disrespecting you. She doesn't want to have sexual relations with you anymore. And you wonder what happened. You're not being the man that she met. Now, of course, we all get older and we have changes in our bodies, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a laugh, lack of love for your own body, a lack of respect for your own body. So don't be complaining if your wife's out of shape or getting out of shape or she's not wearing makeup or she doesn't dress up anymore. Go take a look in the mirror. She's going to follow your lead. Are you treating her like she's special, like she's important to you? I'm not talking about fawning all over her and buying her gifts all the time and telling her how beautiful she is. They get sick of that. If you say it all the time, it doesn't mean anything. You, what are you doing? Go look in the mirror. Would you love you? Would you maintain a loving relationship with you? Are you maintaining a loving relationship with yourself? Sure, it's easy to call someone else out call out your wife or your girlfriend. Go call yourself out first. Pick the log out of your own eye before you pick the speck out of your brother's eye. Or in this case, your sister's eye, your wife's eye, your significant other's eye. How well are you taking care of yourself? How well are you loving yourself? Love your neighbor or your wife as yourself. Treat women the way they want to be treated, not the way you want to be treated. You're not a woman. What pleases you is not going to please your wife or your girlfriend. Something to think about. If you'd like to get my help personally, marksinspiration.com is my website, or you can contact me directly at marksinspirationalguidance at gmail.com. I'll put the links in the bio. Check out the show we did last night with, what's his name? Roseman P. Cherubin. He wrote the book, True Male Nature 101. It's a great book for you guys. It's written more for sons of single mothers, but it's beneficial to anyone. I read it, good book. I learned some things from it myself. That's all I have time for today. Take care, thanks for joining me, and thank you and welcome to my new subscribers as well as my wonderful existing subscribers. We can't do it without each other. No man is an island or a woman. Take care.